everyone, my name is Kimberly Nyatanga. I am a pig farmer in Marondela. Right now we're at Tarara Farm. Uh, we have a 12 sow unit. Um, the challenges so far that I've seen that we faced as pig farmers is the market. The prices are so, so low. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you always find that the price is not determined by, by how much money that you use to produce the product but it's about the market price, you know. The market sort of tells you how much they're buying the product at. The feed is very expensive at this point in time. Uh, the GNB has decided to not sell, uh, you know, maize to farmers. That means that we have to source, uh, you know, maize from local farmers, but at the same time, that is also not allowed in terms of policy. Keeping them means you have to be feeding them every single time. These are animals that love food. They're eating every single time. And you cannot keep a, a pig, um, you know, from a moment where you cannot feed it anymore. So obviously when you take it to the abattoir, you need to make sure that you've got your market ready. Um, and sometimes, because the market sometimes determines the price, no one looks at how much money you've used in, in producing that. No one is going to look at the profit. So sometimes the profit margins are not that great. We also face challenges of transport. Right now there's no diesel. Um, we need to take our pigs um, to the abattoir. Um, where do you get the diesel? Do we have to resort to the black market? Obviously resorting to the black market will eat into your profit as well. Um, when you get to the abattoir, the abattoir charges whatever amount that they feel like. If we would have abattoirs that can help us, that will not charge us a lot of money um, for us to be able to get value out of what we're doing and also obviously help the other upcoming farmers because I feel that Zimbabwe, being a farming country, needs to have a whole lot more farmers and not farmers going out of the business. With this value um, project that has just started, I feel that it's, it's going to go a long way in alleviating some of those challenges that we're facing.